Okay, guys. Here's what I heard God say. Um, speak life, not death. Ooh, okay. So I think this is where he's asking me to teach a little bit, okay? Because it, this just isn't taught in churches, and I don't know why, okay? But some of you guys are speaking death, and you don't even know it. You don't even know it. Okay, so I want you to think about the times where you've said never or always. Okay, and it hasn't been positive. Okay, so let me give you some examples. Okay, um, my kids never do what I want them to do. My husband never shows me love. Um, we never have enough money. We always have more bills than money. Man, we're always struggling. Okay, you guys, those are oaths that you're making before God. Okay, super biblical. You can go in and read about those. Okay, but when you say never and always, and it's really against something. Okay, so when you do that, you're speaking death. You're speaking death. You're speaking death over your marriage and your kids and your business and your finances. You know, people wonder all the time, like, why am I having trouble? And sometimes we have to check our words. Because what we can speak death over, we can speak life over. Can I get an amen from the back row? So how do we flip that? Okay, well, first, we have to break that oath. Okay, so those oaths, my kids never do this. My husband never does this. We never have enough money. We always have too much debt, whatever that is. You just have to say, in the name of Jesus, I break that. By the blood of Jesus, I break that. Okay, break it. And ask God to make you aware of those words. Here's what I noticed in my own life. We have a huge generational pattern of that in my family, on my mom's side and my dad's side. And so it was just something very natural that I would just say. And so I asked the Holy Spirit just to make me super conscious and aware of that. And can I tell you, I got my hand slapped more than once <laughs> because I was speaking a lot of death. Okay, so I want you, and if you're married, get with your spouse, okay? But are you both speaking some death over that, over various things? Okay, I want you to break that, and then I want you um, ask the Holy Spirit to make you aware of it. And every time you hear it, every time you say it, um, just break the oath. Now, who wants to speak some life? Let's speak some life, okay? I want you to go through and look at the promises of God, okay? Think about Jeremiah 29, 11. I know the plans I have for you. They're to prosper you, to give you hope, and to give you a future, okay? You can go look up the verse and get the whole one. He says, he also says that I came to give you life and to give it to you abundantly. Okay, God is saying like, this is always my promise to you. Always. Like God speaks always over us. And so I want you to speak always over you. I want you to write out in the different areas, okay? So maybe it's kids, maybe it's um, spouse, maybe it's finances, maybe it's your health, okay? I want you to write out some always promises, okay? I do that routinely. And then I just declare back to God. I just say, God, here's what you say. Okay, like health wise, um, I have an angle and a knee, but I'm asking God for healing on. And instead of just begging and coming in, I say, God, 
you always say that when you heal, you completely heal. You always say that by your stripes, I'm healed. God, you say that you own the cattle, all the cattle on a thousand hills. So then there's always enough, God. God, you say that you came to give me abundant life. So God, in my health and in my finances and in my relationships, then I always want there to be abundance. That's your promise. And so you guys, you have to go in and you have to speak life. And I'm going to address something because the Holy Spirit, it's just, yeah, being a little loud today. <laughs> um, some of you are writing on social media post, speaking death over people. And you don't mean to but it's happening, okay? You've gotta be really careful at what you're speaking over people. Be careful on using the words never. You know, well, we would never do that or we, um, or you should never do that. Speak life. Speak life. How can that person be encouraged today? How can you encourage a person? The other day I pulled up at the grocery store and um, there, the car in front of me, you know, the cars, like I was pulling in here, there was a car here and um, she had her hood up and she had jumper cables and a lady had just pulled out like, literally like I was waiting on her to pull out and so I pulled in and I went up and I said hey you know do y'all need a jump and my the lady was like oh my gosh yes um and my place of obedience was her always for her to know that somebody sees her somebody is there to help her she had asked the lady that had just pulled out to help her and the lady ignored her. Be the change. Be the person who speaks life. Because here's what happens, and I've seen it again and again. When you speak life over somebody, you will have life spoken over you. It's a boomerang effect. It just comes back to you. Okay, so I want you intentionally to pick a few people and just go speak life over them. Okay, maybe you're at the grocery store and you see somebody has a cute hairstyle. Just speak life over them. Okay, you don't have to be weird about it. Just say, man, I just want you to know I love your haircut. You know, I love your eye color, whatever that is. Okay, pick a couple of friends, speak life over them today. Okay, it, I promise you it will come back. But I think more than ever in our culture and in our world, we have to speak life. The world is hungry for that. So I want you to do that, okay? So, and I want you to do it secretly, okay? And then come leave a comment. I wanna know what you did, okay? Or send me a message, you can do that too. Um, my email is in the about section so you can do that okay you guys as always if you want a specific word over your life simply subscribe and comment okay and then just put a comment down even if you don't want to even if you don't want a word um just leave a comment and then share this with somebody who is just going through that hard season okay you never know that they may just be, they may be speaking some death over some things that God is trying to speak life over. Okay. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys in the next prophetic word. See you guys later.